Oh, hey there! It's been a while, hasn't it? What have you two been up to? <laughs> Seems like you've been enjoying yourselves. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking out for some weeds while getting some fresh air. I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Erminsoul. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do. But I can't remember what it is. Hmm? Why is that? Don't worry, we'll help you remember! Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Oh, it's beautiful! It looks like it's filled with some kind of power. Mm hmm I found it in the Sanctuary of Suristana, but I have no recollection of it whatsoever. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet, it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't figure out what it is. Traveler? Do you have any ideas? Hmm... You know, Nahida, we just happen to be going on an adventure right now. If we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know right away! Thanks, you two. I didn't mean to trouble you again. Don't mention it. Besides, it seems you've got a lot on your mind and we'd like to help. <laughs> Hey, get out! You shouldn't be around here! I'm sorry, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Fungi don't usually come near this place. Last warning! Get out before I kick you out, you hear? Hang on. I think it's trying to tell us something. But, Great Dendro Archon, it's a monster! Please, don't worry. <laughs> Hmm, I think I understand. Seems that it wants us to follow it. You can understand it? Mm-hmm. Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we experience are all the same. I can feel its anxiety and fear. It's in dire need of our help. Well, fungi are kinda cute, but... That's true. Okay, let's go take a look. All right, lead the way, little fungus. Although they all look about the same, some fungi are friendly, while others are super aggressive and attack anyone they see. It can't be helped. Perhaps in their eyes, humans are like fierce monsters as well. After all, they can't distinguish which human behaviors are hostile or not, and it'd already be too late for them once humans have drawn their weapons. Hence why they tend to strike first, rather than waiting. That's not too different from how humans think sometimes. That's what I meant by shared emotions. <laughs> 